These are all the uh, doors, cabinet doors that we took out of the boat. I'm going to pull all the hinges off them, run some new stain over them, and uh, put some new varnish on them so they're nice and shiny and nicer to wipe off. There's a at least for me, if I get them all with a varnish and a nice clear coat on there, it'll be easier to wipe them down in the spring if you get any mildew on them or anything. I mean, these have been around since 78, and they're, I guess back in the old days, you just kind of kept oil or pledge on them or something and, and did it that way. But that's what we're doing today. nice there's no white paint on the doors trying to paint around stuff. so we'll uh it's really nice having these tools otherwise you're doing this by hand and that's it's not a good thing but anyways it's nice day to do this inside that's for sure it's kind of cold out today. It's probably maybe 35, 40, which isn't bad actually. It's kind of nice, but it's still a little too cold to do any work outside. Well, we got all the hardware off. Box of hardware. Now we're going to scuff them a little bit, sand them a little bit, and get ready to uh, put some more varnish on them. See where that was. That's gotta gotta mess that up a little bit. They never really finished it. But we're just gonna stain this up and then we're gonna put some varnish on it later. And I'm gonna make it look beautiful. I'm gonna be old boat in the new boat. At least it'll be nice for what I need. You know, some people buy a boat and don't have time to do all this stuff. But mine's been a project for a couple of years. And uh, I don't know, I like working on it. Almost like working on it more than I like using it. <laughs> well, get this stuff on there and get this dried up and then the next day or so I'll have to I'll have to put the varnish on. Make it look real nice and shiny. Uh. 
Just basically freshening it up. Freshen it up. I did scuff it a little bit, sand it a little bit. And that's going to help us to uh, knock off some of the bad stuff and keep the edges nice and neat. And uh, go from there. You know, I ain't no professional at this stuff for sure, but when it's all done, it looks good. There's probably a better way to do this, or I'm rubbing it on wrong, or something, so. It is what it is. As long as it works for me, I'm happy. Just gotta get all the edges good. That's the main thing. Get it so it's got a nice look. A nice texture. Boy, this is going to look good in the boat. Everybody, everybody will wonder, think it's all brand new woodwork. Anybody know what kind of wood this is? You know, this is the fun of fixing an old boat. Spending quality time with this boat. But, uh, as you might see in the previous videos that, uh, the boat was uh, pretty neglected and pretty rough, and that's why I got it for pretty reasonable. And the best thing about it is it's got a good drive train, it's got a good motor, and everything else for me can be fixed. A little bit of elbow grease, and uh, we're going to have ourselves a nice cruiser for, for uh, very little. I mean, some people think you got big money invested in your boat, but you know what? I got more time invested in it than I got money. So, I mean, sure, a lot of people like to go out and buy a new boat. You know what? Not a lot of people can afford a new boat. And then again, if you buy a new boat, you can't work on it. It's all this new, all this new stuff. You got to have a technician work on it. And I'm a little bit more old school, so uh, if I can't work on it. It's just not no, no fun for me. Uh, we'll get them uh, restained and varnish them up. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hi guys, how you doing? Still at it here. First coat on most all my doors here, kitchen doors and bathroom doors. The dog don't like when I talk to myself. Doesn't know I'm talking to you guys. What? Good day to do this. March, just before the season's getting going, get all this stuff done now, and it's only about 35 degrees outside, that way I don't have to waste my time doing this stuff when the nice weather gets here. These sure are going to look good once we put them back inside the boat. All sealed up. It's going to look nice. I've been waiting to do this. Get them all ready to go. So, Well, again, glad you could join us. Hope you're getting something out of these videos. If you're not, well, it's, maybe it's good entertainment. And uh, we're just going to keep putting a few more out for you. And This is what we do. We work on our boats. I got some 320 here. We're going to scuff all this. And one thing we got to watch out for if we don't burn the edges. Because then all of a sudden the edges are going to be light and it's going to take out some of the stain. So we're going to scuff this all up, sand it all down, try and go with the grain. We'll put another coat on it. 
and see how it pans out. You can see how dull this is and dusty. I'll wipe all this off, I'll tack rag it all off, and we'll um, put some new varnish on them and it should really smooth up again. And then we'll sand them again and see how they look. Here we are using a tack cloth to do the final wipe, getting off a lot of the dust from the sanding and scuffing. Um, it's kind of a tacky cloth. You can get them in like a pack of three and uh, that's what it is. It's kind of sticky in a sense. But it picks up all the lint and all the, uh, the sanding dust and debris that uh, you want to try to keep out of your, uh, your polyurethane or your clear coats if you're painting a car and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing. Well, after sanding it, wiping it down, now we're going to put on the final, not a final, but one more coat of urethane. And you can just watch how this thing just definitely looks better than uh, what it did the first coat. first coat had so much little pieces of dust in it and stuff. And this stuff here. I'm using a sponge to put this on. A lot of guys will use a brush. Definitely hard getting it down in that crack without overloading it. But yeah, you just gotta keep finessing it. Definitely looks better than what it did a couple of days ago. Probably give her one more coat. I wish it would lay out better, but that's what we got. Bunch of doors, cabinet doors, closet doors. It's going to be interesting to uh, get them on the boat this spring. It's going to change the whole look.